Good day everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, today I'll take you through AppV's third quarter result. On the 30th of October 2020, AppV released its third quarter trading update. Key highlights were as follows. Revenue was up 52%, driven by strong sales of SkyRazy and Rainbow. Slightly offsetting the results with poor sales of Humira, which were down 9.3% um, year on year due to loss of exclusivity. Adjusted diluted EPS was up by 21.5%. For the period, the group declared a dividend of 118 cents per share. On a comparable basis, uh, this was up 10% from the prior period. The dividend will be payable in February 2021. Following the results release, the share price was down 5.5%. Um, on a year-to-date basis, the share increased by 11.7%, while the benchmark was up 11.1% over the same period. On an earnings basis, earnings expectations for FY20 and FY21 have been on an upward trend, ranging from $1,048 cents to $1,219 driven by a rebound from the slowdown in new diagnosis that was due to stay-at-home orders. As you can see on the graph, on a forward PE basis, the share now trades at 10 point times, a 22.3% discount to its historical average, and at a 41.5% discount to its Fexit PEs. In June 2019, uh, the group announced that it entered into a definitive transaction agreement and the which FVU would acquire Allegan, a global pharmaceutical leader focused on developing, manufacturing and commercializing branded pharmaceutical products as well as medical devices. Under this agreement, FV paid close to 14 billion USD in addition to using cash on hand FV incurred significant um, debt related to financing the deal. In this slide, as well as the following slide, we illustrate some of Allegan's attractions. For this period alone, products acquired um, as part of Allegan acquisition contributed just about 40%. These include IK products. Aesthetics, neuroscience, as well as products within um, women's health. Integrating these new product lines into the group, we expect FV sales to grow at 4.8% for the next four years, ahead of the 3.1% peer average. Management is further guided to a 10% accretion uh, in the first full year which uh, will be financial year 2021 and at least 20% at peak as the group realizes synergies in R&D as well as general selling expenses. Post elegance acquisition, the group's long-term debt increased by 82% to 67.2 million USD. In the third quarter results, the group reported a strong cash balance of 8 billion USD, up by 33% from the second quarter, while cash from operating activities came in at 5.8 billion USD. This is supportive of the deleveraging strategy following the acquisition. As you can see from the graph, net debt is expected to average um, close to 3.2 times in 2020 and thereafter we expect the multiple to improve to 1.3 times by 2023. Moving on to Outlook, management has further upgraded the um, adjusted diluted EPS guidance for, for 2020 financial year. They've increased their lower range from 
10.35 USD to 10.47 USD and the upper range from 10.45 USD to 10.49 USD. Post the um, US election, we feel that we are more likely to have an equal split um, in, the, in the US Senate. And because of that, this should partially lift a significant overhang on the sector. As significant drug price reforms become difficult to envision with the divided government. Reiterating um, what we spoke to at the beginning of the presentation, the group delivered a strong third quarter with a top line and bottom line beat and guidance raise um, driven by strong underlying trends in the immunology and faster than expected recovery in, in aesthetics. We also have a bullish outlook uh, for Skyreasy and Dreamwalk with a combination of several strong new launches beating expectations and evolving mid to late stage pipeline supporting a solid post humoral loss of exclusivity outlook. For the financial year uh, 2020 right up to 2023, we expect um, app V sales to grow at at least 4.8% which is ahead of the 3.1% uh, industry average despite the headwinds of Jumeirah. On a forward basis, the share now trades at a PE multiple of 10.6 times, a 22.3% discount in its historical average and at a 21.5% discount in its flexi peers. We feel that at these current prices, the share is undervalued uh, with a very strong dividend yield of 5.2 times and for these reasons we recommend an overweight portfolio position. Thank you.